Welcome back for one 655 right now on your Tuesday morning. And time to get you ready to head out the door with these top headlines. First up, an overnight stay in Decatur hotels could soon cost more money. City leaders are considering raising Decatur's lodging tax to fund new recreational and economic development projects. They estimate that lodging tax increase would generate about $750,000 a year for the city. Alabama's Attorney General claims a botched execution last year did not violate Kenneth Smith's constitutional rights. Steve Marshall made this argument yesterday while asking a federal judge to dismiss a lawsuit filed by the convicted killer. That failed execution led to Governor Kay Ivey's request to pause executions. Lawyers for a Jackson County man accused of killing his wife right now fighting to keep his cell phone data out of his upcoming trial. They say prosecutors illegally obtained text messages and phone calls between Jeremiah Nix and Candace Bowes. Court documents claim Nix shot and killed Bowes during an argument in 2019. Court records show a Falkville man charged with capital murder asked police how many people he killed when they arrested him. Falkville police say Joshua Knighton shot three people Sunday night at a house on Goodwin Drive. One of them, Mitchell Beard, died. The other two are recovering in the hospital. This morning, a community is stepping up to help a Huntsville woman who lost not just her home, but two businesses she owned as well. Lizette Perez owned Saber Boricua and a Puerto Rican restaurant and also a hair salon, Mi Encanto. Fire crews will work for seven hours trying to save the building, but they weren't able to salvage much of it. And the community is now raising money. We have a GoFundMe on our website, waytv.com, where you can help out this family. Carson. Cloudy on this Tuesday, but still feeling like spring. High temperatures in the upper 60s. Seven day forecast shows another round of storms moving in tomorrow night. Not a big severe weather potential, but maybe some gusty winds overnight tomorrow night. Okay. Not too bad. Not too mad about it. Not too mad about it. Yeah, we're sad about it. <laughs> Thanks for joining us this Good morning. Good morning, America's up next. See you at 723.